This is gonna be hard read. Hey, your Bob. turtle's so cute. I think it'll be worth the cost that's there. <laughs> is it in your ear? Is it in your ear? <laughs> You're like a little mini Gordon Ramsay. How amazing is that? That's, cool. that's amazing. Good morning, everybody. So we are starting morning. off our first With day of homeschool after Winnie break. Winnie the Pooh. Yes, we are going to start reading read Winnie the Pooh. You. You're going to read it? Yes, yeah, so that is our read aloud is Winnie the Pooh this time. We finished our other book. And books. I'm the one that read them. Emma. And we are actually getting ready to start some new programs in our homeschool. So I'm really excited to show you guys those when we get them in. But I have to order them today. So. Once we get those in, then we'll start that part of our homeschool program, and I think the kids are really gonna like it. Hi, Ireland. What are you doing? I'm drawing a turtle. You draw while we do school, and Zane, he's all cuddled up over there. We still have our tree up, you guys. Due to Matt's request. I know I'm not reading. I never read before. So. Love you. <laughs> so we I'm haven't taken down our Christmas. We haven't taken down our Christmas tree yet, due to Matt's request. He wanted me to keep it up before or until he goes to work back to work he's like I want to see it a little longer so I'm gonna take down the rest of Christmas and just leave our tree up our one tree up all right let's read all right you get to read a page no I'm gonna read the whole book for you because oh you are you cannot run is there another page you gotta open the cover you took the cover off oh Wait, right I here. Can, Here's your page. Cover. Here's your page. There. Right. Here, I'll just take the cover. Winnie the Pooh went to this tree, and his dad went, <laughs> but this little boy named Winnie the Pooh. Christopher Robin. Christopher the Robin. He was going to go find his brother named Winnie the Pooh. So he went to a campfire. So the night he woke up, he was not dead. He was going to find him again. So he found him and he gave him a kiss and hug. Aww, that's such a nice story. So now I have to read this part oh, up okay. here. So this is going to be hard read, but it, uh, he the poo went to go to the campfire and he went to these two pages I was going to read. So he went to where I was reading, but the book in there. Your bottle. turtle's so cute. Look at that. She even has a little bow on her head. That's really cute, Ireland. You're learning to draw so nicely. All right, you ready for some Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. All right. So this was this was your pick, right, Zane? Winnie the Pooh. And then we're doing Wizard of Oz next. We had to flip a coin over it, a coin over it, you guys, to find out who won which book. So, second book, this was our winner, Winnie the Pooh. Second book is Wizard of Oz. All right, chapter one, in which we are introduced to Winnie the Pooh and some bees, and the stories begin. Here's Edward Bear coming downstairs now. Bump, bump, bump on the back of his head behind Christopher Robin. It is, as far as he knows, the only way of coming downstairs. But sometimes he feels that there really is another way. If only he could stop bumping for a moment and think of it. And then he feels that perhaps there isn't. Anyhow, here he is at the bottom and ready to be introduced to you. All right, so we're just starting science class. We finished up our chapter of Winnie the Pooh, and these guys are continuing their series of world's worst disasters. So they're learning about, today they're learning about cyclones. They've learned about tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes. So today it's all about cyclones. Out of a full-blown tropical cyclone. All right, so it is lunchtime in our school day. We still have to finish our science class. 
He sounds weird because I think he's sick. Oh, does he sound like he's sick? Me? Yeah. I think he's just stuffy. But this is what Matt made for lunch. It's so nice having it's him macaroni. home and not having to cook, you guys. Macaroni, we have fish macaroni. sticks, Miracle Holy Whip. Holy macaroni! Holy macaroni. Wait, fish what? sticks, and I have Miracle Whip to dip mine in. Some baked beans and cottage cheese. So simple lunch. But taste. All right, so the kids are doing some history right now. They're actually just kind of easing back into their school day and letting them watch the Who Was show today for history class. So it's a fun way to learn about historical figures throughout history. So today I think they're doing, they're watching Albert Einstein and Joan of Arc. So they're learning a lot of facts about who they were. And of course, we'll go more in depth. Um, we did an in-depth study of Benjamin Franklin, but this is just a fun way to learn some facts about him. So they're gonna watch two episodes of that today. Right now it's Einstein and Joan of Arc, and then I don't know which one the next one's up. So every once in a while we'll like pop these in in our school day just to give them, especially when we're just coming back from a holiday, I like to ease into it because it's like, oh, holiday, and then boom, right into school. So I try not to do that to them. I try to make their first day back a little bit more relaxed. And then the next day we get right in there and do it. So, But I'm actually doing some research today. I want to bring a new science program to the kids and I'm actually researching what some of the best hands-on science out there is for them. So that's what we're doing today. Aspen was hanging out with Daddy. He just came downstairs. I think they were watching a movie or something together. So, I, they can't see you, come here. You gotta come over here. Wait. <laughs> Been doing all these things with his hands lately. He'll come yeah. down and he'll be like, Yeah, and he's got stuff. You what? get tickets. Oh, are you writing out tickets now? Are you being a policeman? I don't think you can write on there very good. You might need to use the other side. That's like a coated cardboard. I think the other side will work. Try that one. Is that better? Yeah. Anyway, so I'm doing some research. We're actually getting you ready got to her on your... You got what? Rap! Anyway, we're getting ready to order a few things for the kids. Um, I'm looking into an additional math program for the kids. Well, a newer type of math program for the kids. I've heard a lot about it. Um, I like what we're using now, but there's a lot of printing cost with it. And so as I'm looking at what the printing cost is, and I'm looking at sometimes the kids run into some questions and stuff with it. And a lot of the times in this grade level, I can answer it. When we start to get to some of the older math levels, there's a lot more research into it. And so that's kind of what I'm looking at is more of a all-in-one math program for the kids. So I've been researching a lot of things. I know one of them out there is Math UC. I really like the way that program looks. So we'll see, I'm gonna check into Saxon Math. That's another tool that I know a lot of homeschoolers use. So there's lots and lots of tools out there, but I'm starting to look for more of an open and go. I do a lot of work and a lot of research into customizing the kids' programs, and I still intend to do that. We do it very eclectic. We do some Charlotte Mason, we do some Easy Peasy. Um, there's lots of different things that we've utilized. We utilize lots of media to do. Um, teaching but I'm looking for a really solid customized program for the kids so I'm taking pieces and parts of lots of things one of which is the good and the beautiful I've heard a lot about it and when I started researching the program I really liked what they had in the language arts aspect so and also in the nature study aspect which will add to their science I see you you want me to show them what you made made one of his little guys. So this is one of Aspen's famous little guys that he makes. We find them in lots of different places. And he's been practicing, practicing you his got letters. It, Master. You're A, it. B, P. And then on the back, we have, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yep, yeah, another P. I see and, in there. What's this? The, What's that? E, D. That's it, a D? Is that a D? Yeah. And guys, when I hide this down here or upstairs you guys are gonna take the camera and you're gonna go for a hunt and find it you think so so after I'm done hiding it I'm gonna call you out and you're gonna come right okay. right away okay. I'm gonna go hide this now I'll tell you when I'm ready for you to come out
You can't look. Okay, shh, the kids are doing school. You can't right? look. You have to look at the camera too. I can't look. Hey. I couldn't help it, I had to look. So anyway, there's lots of different programs that we're using to uh, utilizing and putting in pieces and pieces and parts together to customize a really nice open and go program because that's what I'm Ready. looking for for the kids. Um, there is a little bit more of a cost Ready. in it than what we've been doing. Ready. You ready? Camera. Than what we've been doing previously, but I think it'll be worth the cost that's there. Okay, he's ready. He's ready. I think I have a hint. Where did it go? Hmm. Mm. Is it over here? I see the Who Was program. Mom, he, it was behind the Christmas. Don't tell me. I haven't found it yet. I think it could be over here. It's not there. Well, maybe it's hiding under Zane's blanket. Nope. My laundry pile needs folded. Closet? No. Nope. Maybe it's under the chair. Hold on, wait. I know a spot I haven't checked. Let me see. Come here. Is it in your ear? Is it in your ear? I don't see anything behind the tree. I don't see anything by the Christmas tree. Is it hiding under the tree? There it is. It's going to be real nice. He's making me supper, you guys. I'm pretending it's real so you better be aware. What are you cooking? Bread. Bread? Yes. Don't you need some bread dough? No. How are you going to make me bread without bread dough? I don't know, but yeah, I do need bread. I'm going to go buy some. Better get out um, your, your sand dough. Go to me. You alright? Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. You're like, you're an intense chef. Oh, you got your bread dough, huh? Laundry? <laughs> Making cocky a lighter. What's what's that one chef? I'm not gonna say the name of the show. You know, the, Gordon the guy, Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. That you're like a little mini Gordon Ramsay. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of preschool with play vegetables. Aspen is sorting. Got vegetables. You gotta cut it with your knife. Right. Aspen is sorting through his pile here. It has fruits and vegetables. We took out anything that wasn't, and he's cutting and is this sorting vegetable? them into two different bowls. Are these he's vegetables? Them. That is a vegetable. That's an onion. Wait, is this a vegetable bowl? It, yep. Well, either bowl. It doesn't matter because there's nothing in it. So whichever bowl you want to be the vegetable. So one bowl he's going to put my vegetable salad. And one bowl he's going to put my fruit salad. What do you have there? What is it? Strawberry. Strawberry. What is that? A fruit. It's a fruit, isn't it? Very good. So put that in your fruit bowl. Nice job. This is what we need. That's tomato. a tomato. What is that? Is that a fruit or a vegetable? A vegetable. It's actually a fruit, even though we eat it like a vegetable. A tomato is a fruit. So we put it in the vegetables? You put it in the fruits, yeah. And this is a fruit. That is a fruit. You're right. What do you have there? Watermelon. Watermelon. And what's ketchup? Is that in the fruit bowl or the vegetable bowl? The fruit bowl. Yeah, why? Because it's the topping. What's it made from? Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Yep, and tomatoes the... are what? Fruit. They're a fruit. Very good. Okay, it's a big moment tonight because... What did you do? I just finished my Princeton class. Yes, you finished your elective. It was a humanities class, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what was it over? What do you mean? Like, what was the class 
about? What were you taking? Oh, it was all kinds of things. It was like on whole religion. It was all kinds of stuff. So did you enjoy it? It was very fun. Yeah, you said you wanted to take some more classes. I'm thinking about there. it, yeah. And you pretty much flew through this class, like aced it, didn't you? I did 40 you? videos. That's amazing. Over 40 videos for it. I am so proud of you. You graduated a class through Princeton. I did. How amazing is that? That's cool. That's amazing. And you're a step closer to your high school diploma.